In a world where many people would like to reach one place easily, the fastest and safest way to go is through air. This is also true for transporting materials. Not only that, they are also used for other purposes like national safety and security. This is why many companies have been doing their best to develop modern and futuristic aircrafts that meet today's needs. In today's Mighty Clunkers video, we will look at the futuristic aircrafts you should know about. We will look at both already existing models and some that are yet to be developed. But before that, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more related content. Without further delay, let's get this video started. First on the list is the fifth generation single seat, single engine fighter aircraft called the F-35 Lightning II. This is still in the works and still being manufactured by Lockheed Martin for the United States Air Force. Once it gets done, they are looking forward to distributing it to other air forces too. The technology in this aircraft is intense as it allows the completion of a wide range of missions, including air-to-air -air combat, air-to-ground strikes, and reconnaissance. Through this aircraft, the company seeks to strengthen and enhance national security, global partnerships, and power economic growth. The manufacturers of this aircraft made sure that pilots operating them were at a critical advantage against any adversary so that their safety would be ensured without compromising the completion of tasks. For the same reason, this has been known as the most lethal, survivable, and connected fighter jet in the world. As the most technologically sophisticated node in the networked 21st century security vision, the F-35 offers an unmatched edge to our pilots, country, and international allies. The F-35 remains the cornerstone of the United States and is the national defense strategy in action, services for the global fighters fleet and allied fleets. The U.S. Air Force and Boeing work together to build this hypersonic aircraft. Its scramjet engine enables it to travel at up to Mach 5, or around 3,836 miles per hour. In 2013, the X-51A was successfully flown for testing and demonstration purposes. The X-51A is a technology demonstrator that is launched from a B-52 Stratofortress bomber that is in the air. It has a 25-foot flight test vehicle stack that includes a cruiser, an interstage, and a modified solid rocket booster. Built by Pratt & Whitney Rocketdyne, the X-51A is a shark-nosed cruiser with small movable fins and an SJY-61 supersonic combustion ramjet engine. The X-51's component parts were created, put together and tested by Boeing's Phantom Works. Aluminum, steel, Inconel, titanium, and some carbon slash carbon composite materials are used in the construction of the aircraft, along with some of these materials on the fins and cowls. Future hypersonic weapons, hypersonic intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, and access to space are all goals of the X-51A program. Scramjets are being investigated for more effective orbital payload launch since they do not require massive fuel tanks like the conventional rockets and can burn atmospheric oxygen. Scalable scramjet propulsion, thermal protection systems, airframe and engine integration, and high-speed stability and control are some of the key technologies that the X-51A has successfully demonstrated. The Swiss company Solar Impulse created the Solar Impulse II, a solar-powered aircraft. It is the first airplane to complete a solar-powered around-the-world flight. The aircraft was created to show off the possibilities of solar energy as an aircraft power source and to encourage the development of more environmentally friendly flying. One of the lightest aircraft ever built, the Solar Impulse II has a wingspan of 72 meters and weighs only 2.3 tons. It has four electric motors that are each driven by one of the 17,000 solar cells that cover the upper surfaces of its wings. Using solely the energy from its batteries, the plane can fly for up to 24 hours at a time. The Solar Impulse 2 flew for the first time in March 2015 and completed a number of test flights before setting off on its circumnavigation in May 2016. The plane crossed the United States, flew across the Pacific Ocean, and finally crossed the Atlantic Ocean to get to Europe. After traveling across Africa and Asia, it made its way back to Switzerland in July 2017. 
after flying 42,000 kilometers, 26,000 miles, in five legs, the Solar Impulse 2 returned from its circumnavigation. The Solar Impulse 2 is intended more as a demonstration of the possibility of solar energy for aviation than for commercial or military usage. It has sparked the creation of other solar-powered planes and increased public awareness of the need for more environmentally friendly modes of transportation. Hybrid Air Vehicles is creating a hybrid airship with this design. It is intended to be a heavy lift, long distance transport aircraft that can function in difficult and inaccessible terrain. One of the largest airplanes in the world, the Airlander 10 measures 96 meters in length and 36 meters in wingspan. The Airlander 10 promises to deliver both payload and endurance to deliver results. This airplane alters perceptions of what is feasible in flying thanks to its low infrastructure requirements and extremely customizable payload module. This is also complete with technology, specifically the four combustion engines, which enables the aircraft to have 75% reduction in emissions over comparable aircraft in a range of roles. But they did not stop there. The maker of this aircraft is now working on electric motor development with the intention of shipping a hybrid electric Airlander 10 as early as 2027. With operating flexibility, this will enable a 90% reduction in emissions compared to other aircraft for mobility and logistical applications. The four engines on Airlander 10 will eventually be all electric. Customers in the future will have the choice of an emission-free airplane by 2030. A groundbreaking new aircraft created especially for the United States is the T-78 Red Hawk. The next generation of fighter and bomber pilots will be trained by the Air Force. A digital approach was used to construct the aircraft, in line with American standards. Using virtual testing, the Air Force's Digital Sentry Series plan enables new ideas and capabilities to be integrated more quickly and affordably. The famed Tuskegee Airmen the first African Americans to serve as combat aviators in the United States Armed Forces are honored by the T-78. The T-78 is a symbol of the Tuskegee Airmen's heritage and the future heroes. The Boeing T-78 Red Hawk was constructed using cutting-edge, computer-driven manufacturing methods, which benefit the United States. The Digital Century Series Plan of the Air Force, which expands the supply base options, with this strategy, first-time engineering quality has increased by 75%, assembly hours have decreased by 80%, and software development and verification time have decreased by 50%. The T-78 is a modular aircraft that was created with maintenance professionals in mind. It has enhanced fighter-like performance characteristics, ground-based training equipment that supplement training, and immersive training. Pilots are able to adapt to cutting-edge technology and instructional methods because of the aircraft's versatility, adaptability, and capacity for usage in a variety of tasks. With only minor adjustments, the aircraft can be quickly changed to meet new roles, such as an aggressor, light assault, or fighter type. A prototype eVTOL quadcopter with an aerodynamic sailplane cockpit is called the Waters Trust Vision VTOL. Eight electric motors are present, four of which tilt rotor ducts and four of which rotate propellers. The prototype will use enlarged piezoelectric gyroscopes to offer stability. It will be constructed using a moldless composite aircraft system, MCAS, to make it lighter, stronger, and faster. In addition to the single pilot for whom it was intended, the design can be changed to hold four and six people. The Vision team is seeking to produce batteries with 30 times current density and storage life expectancy in order to provide intercontinental range at rapid speeds. Airbus Defense in Space is creating the VSR-700 a medium-sized autonomous and unmanned surface vessel, USV. In addition to marine surveillance, border patrol and environmental monitoring are some of the uses for which it is intended. The VSR-700 may be operated remotely or autonomously depending on the needs of the operation and is designed to operate alongside bigger manned vessels. The VSR-700's diesel-electric propulsion combination enables it to run continuously for up to 10 days without refueling. 
It has a number of sensors and cameras, including a multi-spectral imaging system that can find and recognize underwater things. Additionally, the vessel has the ability to conduct underwater surveys and is capable of carrying a range of payloads, including surface effect ships, SES, and remotely operated underwater vehicles, ROVs. With its highly agile design, the VSR-700 can go at up to 40 knots, 46 miles per hour, in order to ensure dependable and secure operations. It is also outfitted with a range of navigation and communication technologies, including satellite-based location and communication systems. It is not yet known when the VSR-700 will enter service because it is still in the development stage. However, it is designed to be a flexible and capable platform that can assist with a variety of marine mission types. Those are just futuristic aircrafts you should know about. There is so much more to explore about machines, engines, and engineering. If you want to learn more, go check out our channel and you might find a video that interests you. We also have a video on 19 most impressive and powerful machines you need to see. If you have any suggestions, you can also send them over the comment section. We would love to hear from you. Before leaving, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. Thank you for watching.